Now, last night was crazy as hell on a Fresh and Fit podcast. When shit scrambling to get in the bag, trying to run about the back door, the goddamn front sitting there talking about some Yende is here. Nigga, I thought I was watching the wire, niggas. Omar at the door or some shit, nigga. Who the hell is a Yende? Well, we gonna get into all that, but first thing first, we gotta do this first. We gotta clear this up. On Fresh Print CEO story, he put this up and Aber oh. and Preach responded to it. Let's see it. That's why you ain't coming in. The world knows. Don't do it, man. The world knows. A Yende. Yo, I have a priest. You yep. don't worry about the yep. you You're literally trying, yo, you're you're committing a crime right now. So Buddy came to the door saying, I've been preaching, you gotta worry about these niggas no more. That obviously is a yen day. Um, Abba and Preach says, we over here on vacation chilling, and now we're being told we're Miami Vice Lords with goons everywhere. <laughs> LMAO. Um, so next slide. We don't endorse violence, but uh, play stupid games, you win stupid prizes, my boy. My boy, and um, whatever issue y'all got with that man who is your former business associate is on y'all. And, and to be clear, this is the guy that broke in Fresh Fit Podcast. Read what he says. And this is a, a comment um, from the Authentic Alphas channel. I was sent by no one. I operate on behalf of myself and had unresolved issues with Myron long before Abra and Preach were in the picture. Don't put anything I do on anybody else. I own my shit. And this guy says, so you cloud chasing. I hate you, hate you people saying cloud chasing, cloud chasing, cloud chasing. Cloud chasing. That's y'all easy. That's like, it's like niggas toxic. That's y'all word throwing on everything toxic. That's like some whole shit, nigga. Build up the vocabulary. Everything in cloud chasing. Lame man, nigga. Now everyone's asking why this shit is staged. I'm going to tell you right now. It's not staged. It's not staged. This is some real shit. This is some real beef. Let's get into who Allende is. So Allende was pivotal in the founding of Fresh and Fit Podcast for what it is today, especially the style that you guys see. Originally, Myron did not want the ladies to be on the podcast in group settings like they are now. That was originally Allende's plan, his idea. This all that I'm saying right now came from this that 50 minute video. You guys can watch that, but I'm gonna give you the clip notes version. So, but that came from Allende's plan, his idea. He wanted to, you know, have that conversation going. The reason why he wanted to work with my in the first place because he has similar talking points similar ideologies about the red pill content and that's the reason that they wanted to work together what well, he wanted to work with him but his role became getting the girls to come on the podcast at the time he started a lot of different things that thought that happened he realized this guy ain't, ain't cut the same way i'm cut meaning um myron he didn't have too much thing to say about fresh he was more so speaking towards issues with myron he was saying a lot of things that he was saying he wasn't moving the same way even when it came to getting girls he was always the only one to get girls and they would pay him to go and get girls coming to comp or come on a podcast a lot of times when it came to even smashing chicks the only chicks that he would see myron smash will only be chicks that he brought into the podcast so he's like them if this guy was saying on the same type of vibes that i was on i'm not really seeing that shit in the whole damn place so you know he was he felt like fool was like frauding from way back when way back when when they were working together before now check this out so back to myron not wanting girls to be on a podcast at all myron has a real disdain he really he has a real issue with women some type of way based on what homie is saying based on what he's saying he's really it's like man i i, I have the out to prove women wrong or like the horrible people x y and z and he was really on some he wanted the idea of the show to be more of like a, a conversational piece of real good conversations what you see today is not really the way that he wanted the conversation to go but he is the one based on what he's saying that wanted to bring girls in the fold to be able to talk with girls on the show mine was like i'm not giving these hoes no clout but buddy was like, nah, let's do, let's do it. And they tried it. And based on analytics, everybody loved that. And they kept running it up. And this is the show that you guys that became to be fans of Fresh and Fit. This is why you guys are fans of that shit. You feel me? Because of that. Because of that right there. Or well, you were fans of it. That's the reason why. Because of uh, Allende's um, idea based on what he's saying. You feel me? Now the beef. This is why they beefing. There was supposed to be this big meet and greet party that Fresh and Fit was throwing. And there was a Yen Days, them idea. They said it was their idea. They were charging crazy amount of prices. The party fell through. It didn't work out. Now, after they stopped working with each other, fans were pressing Myron for their refund. Myron like, I ain't got your money. And Yen they got your money. And they came pressing Yen Day. And Yen they like, damn, fuck, nigga, you gonna tell everybody I got your cab, boy? I'm gonna come and see you. I'm come see you. So he made a video. He didn't want to make a video, especially with everything going on. But it was, just, I guess, it's just a perfect storm. 
when it rains, it fucking pours, my nigga. When it rains, it fucking pours. So, that brings us to last night. Yende, for some odd reason, said, these niggas filming. I know these niggas gonna be where they at, obviously. He pulled up to the spot. Obviously, the people downstairs know his face because he's probably used to be there six days a week working on podcasts. The guy used to be there six days out the week. So, the security probably just let the guy right on up because he's a freaking person there. He went there, allegedly, he knocked down the door. And then from that point, Myron Fit, he's the one who brandished the weapon, um, trying to punk homie for not coming inside the door. And you that, and that's what we see here today. A lot of people think it's stage. I highly doubt it's stage. This is real smoke. And the reason why I highly doubt it's stage, Allende and Large. Oh, I think, I think that's the other homie name. They released some information that is not good for Myron and Fresh and Fit in their podcast. And it pertains to a very, 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 very highly regarded person that they did some snake shit or said some snake shit about that guy behind the scenes and it's not good. I'm gonna talk about that in this video right up here. Uh, make sure you're on point for that one and it more than likely will be on the end screen at some points. But yeah, that shit right there was foul and it's not gonna be good. So with them doing that shit right there, I know for sure it's not fake because that's not something you would want to come out. You don't want that to be staged. You don't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't stage anything and let that come out because that is some real foul flaw shit. And I kind of think this is what O'Shea Duke Jackson was alluding to in the video that I released before. Um, make sure you go check that video out. Thank you, O'Shea, for coming to show love in the comment section. I ain't even noticed that shit until today. It's been so many love, so much on comments that you guys been giving me. Listen, I know that you guys only view on my channel because of this beef shit. I'm a small content creator. I study the game, I understand the game. I know this is what you guys wanna see. I'm covering it. And I know as a small content creator, this is kind of my rite of passage. I gotta latch on to certain stories and talk about it and give the people what they wanna see. When other people don't wanna get in the mud and do the dirty work, I gotta do it and I'm gonna do it. And hopefully I'm passing the test and you guys wanna continue hanging out and check out other content on my channel. I drop a lot of dope shit. I am, nigga, I feel like I'm dope and shit. I feel like I'm a great content creator. Hopefully you guys wanna hang out with me for some more time. Um, watch this next video. This shit right here is foul as fuck. This shit right here is foul as fuck, dog. Let's go ahead and get to this shit, though. But in the meantime, it's your boy Stacy, and I fuck with you. And the reason why? Because you fuck with me. Yay! I'm out. Right bro, now, bro. You're, what? Look, 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 you're, you're committing a crime. crime right now, bro. Look, you gotta rape this fuck about crimes. Oh, shit. You gotta rape oh. this fuck about crimes. Look at this guy, oh. bro. You know what I'm saying? I wish a <laughs> motherfucker would come to my door. I wish a <laughs> motherfucker would come to my door. Mario, you's a bitch and we all know. Come on in, man. Come on in, then. Oh, you got a gun? Come on in, bro. I'm afraid of a gun, nigga. Okay, come Only on pussy in. Pussy niggas need a gun for a nigga that ain't Come got on a gun. in, then. Remember come that. Come on in. Only a bitch need a gun. You're trying to man. break into a man's I, house, bro. I tell all my women. You're literally about to break into a man's right? house, bro. Right? right? You're literally Anybody gonna break, break into a man's house. house. I ain't breaking your house. So you can not break me, bitch. You can't open the door, bro. So come kick me out, nigga. You kick bitches out, kick me out, nigga.